Alright, how's it going guys? Alpha Yjo back at it again and welcome to Witchcrafter. So with the introduction of Mama to the TCG, the community has been a complete uproar about the meta threat in the Shizu tier. No doubt, this upcoming format is going to be tough for most strategies to even contend. So in the meantime, let's just look the other way and pretend our problems don't exist and look at 2D women. So I guess nothing new. Anyways, with the new Witchcrafter card though, this deck finally seems to have a tangible win condition in the new fusion monster, and it's honestly a really cool monster to play around with. And of course, before we get into it, this list is purely a foundation and guide on how you can build your list. Nothing I say is ever set in stone, but with that, let's get right into it. For our Witchcrafters, we are on 3 Shmieta and 3 Geni, Jenny, for our main starters slash extenders. 1 for Terry for some utility, along with 1 Hind and 1 Madame Barret for our main deck disruption. I think this number runs out pretty well for the deck, but I would also consider Pitore if you wanted to up the count. Moving on, we have one Cartesia, a new secret from Dabo that helps us get into our new win condition. One Ecclesia and one Florida Lead. These two are incredible for the deck now because of how well it works with the Vice and Madame. Two Magician Soul and one Illusion Chaos. This package isn't mandatory for our game plan, so it could be cut, but they do work really well in the deck. As for spells, we have two Right, three Nadir Servant, 3 Branded and High Spirit, 3 Magicians Restage with the 1 right hand for Spell Protection, 3 Creation as our Searcher, 3 Holiday for our Recursion, 3 Confession aka our new Fusion Spell, 1 Instant Fusion for our Spellcaster Extender, and 1 Call by the Grave. This one can be cut for another Witchcrafter spell like Draping or Unveiling though. Finally, for Traps we are on 1 Patronus, not a common pick in the deck, but I feel this ability to streamroll the advantage game made it a nice one up to throw. And finally, one Schism. Truthfully, this could be cut as well since Nadir Servant's main purpose is to get you to the Dogmatica monsters to help trigger the Vice Madame. As for the extra deck, we're on a full suite of fusions. Two Vice Madame, fantastic card that lets you establish an insane amount of advantage. One Millennium Eyes Restrict for a body and health protect combo. One Garura and one Intus for Deer plays. Now, the card here should be the new Finale Dragon, but since the system hasn't loaded the card in yet, I'll just put a Dragoon here for now. And funny enough, it still counts as a valid high spirit target, so uh, that's funny. And one Curtis because Finale Dragon can float into it, and then one Winda and one Outclone. Again, can be cut, but it's a nice option. And to round up our list, we're on some good utility link monsters, one Artemis, one Dark, one Asa, one Selene, one Unicorn, and one Axe Stoic. You can also consider a cross shape in here for some cool plays, but that just about wraps up the list, and of course nothing is set in stone, but if you're ever curious about something and want to start some discussion, leave it in the comments down below and I'll always get back to you. Bye bye.